Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And so in this video, basically I'm going to show you guys how I have my Google Fi account pretty much set up at this current point right now. Um, so the Pixel 3 is literally holding the main SIM card for Google Fi. So I do have um, the ability to smart switch in between Sprint and T-Mobile. As you guys can see, I have Fi Switcher. Mike did a live stream. There you guys go. But I do have Fi Switcher right here. It tells me um, which network I'm connected to, what LTE band I'm connected to, all that good stuff. And then you can actually force switch in between Sprint, T-Mobile, and US Cellular. So this is uh, pretty much my setup on my Pixel 3. I put my um, main Google Fi SIM card in there. And so, um, yeah. And then with one of my data only SIMs, I put it in the iPhone 7. Um, so literally I have Hangouts because I am using Hangouts as my all-in-one uh, messenger on the iPhone 7. Now what's really cool about this is that while I'm using Hangouts as my all-in-one, so it's my, my phone calls for Google Fi, my text message for Google Fi and chat, um, this will ring the, the Hangouts app when I get incoming calls, but the native dialer on my Pixel 3 will also ring. So I don't have Hangouts on my Pixel 3 as my all-in-one, just on my iPhone 7 as it's a data-only SIM card. So I'm pulling LTE from T-Mobile and um, therefore I use iMessage and FaceTime for those people who have iPhones that I connect with and then Hangouts for text messaging and phone calls when I'm literally using the iPhone 7. And the reason why I did that is because it made more sense. Since this device is still, uh, I would say, still locked to T-Mobile, um, that the Google Fi data only SIM runs on T-Mobile's network. So it will function as if it was a T-Mobile SIM. And so that's the reason why I decided to take my main Google Fi SIM out of my iPhone and put it back in my Pixel 3. Now, if you guys are wondering what I did with Visible, Visible is currently in this device. The uh, Pixel 1 XL has my Visible SIM service connected to it. So um, this is pretty much like, I guess, the setup that I want as I don't really uh, do a lot of regular phone calls with the iPhone. Um, so I have that with my Pixel 3 here and it allows me to pretty much keep, you know, two devices on me that uh, one iOS, one Android, and so it allows me to utilize the best of both worlds. Um, even though I do suffer from some of the things that both worlds do bring that don't make sense. Um, yeah, I just figured this would just be my setup. And uh, if you guys are like wondering how crazy Google Fi has been for me, uh, which I generally enjoy Google Fi, just kind of make sure that, so I'll just kind of do that. But um, yes, as you guys can see, uh, if I was to manage five, I basically have four data only SIM cards and, um, yeah. So basically a five line family plan and I'm only paying $70 plus tax for one line on Google Fi. So, um, that's the reason why that I went back to Google Fi, especially when hearing that they were going to drop an unlimited plan. Uh, it's actually been working out pretty good. As a matter of fact, um, so far with every member uh, on my Google Fi plan, uh, literally we've only used 13.99 gigabytes. So we're, we haven't even hit the threshold yet of 22 gigs, which is good. Doesn't mean that I'm always gonna be around 13 gigs. I mean, I got like eight days left in my plan. Um, I'll probably hit like 20 gigs. And um, I haven't done any streaming, you know, from the Google Fi network. So that's probably one major deal. Um, I've done some voice calls and things like that, but nothing super major. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's my Google Fi setup with the Pixel 3 and the iPhone 7 as my dailies. And then uh, visible, I will kind of leave this device at home, kind of like a home phone um, right here. Or um, I'll just end up carrying three devices with me just to always make sure I have a device that I have coverage. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for much my quick little Saturday night video. If you guys enjoyed what I have to say, smash that like button to let me know. It really helps the channel out and I really would appreciate that. And if you just subscribed, 
I appreciate that too. If you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe and also hit the notification and you guys will be notified when I upload new videos regarding tech or whatever I'm talking about. But until then, thanks so much for watching. And as always, aloha.